This is the BLE Shark Nano. Now, if you know, we've been waiting since last years for this, actually. Okay, I wouldn't say years, but like since last year. And this was a Kickstarter, just like the Flipper Zero was, that actually came to be, that I love, and is not a scam. Okay, now, the BLE Shark Nano. Now you're like, Ilya, you opened it up and set it up without us? I got an extra one, just to set up for you guys. Now, this is the blue colorway, and it looks amazing. So, this is like the new Flipper Zero for 40 bucks, and it does more than that M5 stick, which is around 22 bucks. So, with this guy, it has an IR receiver. Oh, one of them is something. IR receiver, IR transmitter. It has these buttons. <laughs> it charges via USB-C, this nice little display. Now, the display is not colorful, but with this type of device, it's nice with the M5 stick because it's so small, but this one just seems like it works with the display it has. Now, it also does BLE, Wi-Fi attacks, and all the cool stuff. Bad blue, or bad BT. And I want to go over all of it, so let's set it up. Now, here it is. Now, you're like, why'd you get two, Ilya? I originally got two to sell until I was at DEF CON. I bought one of something, then I went back about another because I loved it so much. One broke. And then I learned the saying, if you have one, you have none. If you have two, you have one. If you have three, you have two. So if I have one, you have none. Don't buy it if you can't buy three. Mm -hmm. That's how the verses go. Now, the BLE Shark Nano. It has some of this imagery around it. Now, I see this is the old case design, as Sensei have covered up this thing, which actually feels very nice looking at it and not thinking about damaging those pins up there. Your new favorite gadget. Okay. Discord, TikTok, Insta, YouTube. I've been in talk with them for a while, and they shipped this out as fast as they could. And wow, that's a cool looking box. So we get the sticker, BLE Shark Nano, that will go on our little wall. And a setup guide. I'm telling you right now, toss this in the trash, okay? This is the easiest device I've ever set up. Uh, updating, it updates by itself which is crazy, and super easy to set up. So, this is the clear version, the other is the blue, and I just cannot decide which one I like more. This one has a case. I thought I ordered a second case, but <laughs> I guess not. But this looks pretty cool. You can see all this stuff in there, including the lithium-ion battery. That is a very good-sized battery, and that will make it last a while, especially with the display we have on here. But we only did this once. Let's make it right. Yes, some more. I didn't even hear it. Oh, whatever. Now, I did realize this does come charged. Those are the GPIO ports I was talking. Not GPIO, just the pin ports. And also in this box, don't toss it out yet. Because you have a surprise waiting for you. And just a USB-C cable. But nonetheless, thank you, BLE Shark Nano. Uh, I believe it probably is a data cable. I feel like all these brands probably have data cables. I don't know why you would sell one if it wasn't. Does feel good quality. Okay, yeah, purple on the inside. So, this is the BLE Shark Nano, and this is how we set it up. Go ahead and switch it on over here. Now, this is the screen. Press any button to start. Connect to the BLE Wi-Fi network. Now, I'm just going to put it over here on the side of the screen. And we're going to go to Wi-Fi. Here. Actually, I'll just... Oh, my gosh. I do not want to blur this out right now. Now, here we go. And what we're going to want to do is go to username, and the password is capital B, capital L, capital E, capital S, shark, one, two, three. And the password is going to go ahead and be different every time. I do find that cool because only you could join if someone does find out your password, but um, for the meantime, I think I'll make my own password. Nine, two, f wow, I keep spelling that wrong. Nine, two, four, seven, eight, zero, four, five, eight, zero, four, five. And this is actually all you have to do to set it up. Then you just need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It'll scan. Oh my gosh, I have to blur out my Wi-Fi network again. <laughs> and enter the enter your password. Connect, and we'll notice that our BLE Shark starts updating itself. Now, these type of screens do have a flickering effect on the actual camera itself. Failed. Connection failed. Oh my gosh, bro. We will hit reset. I have no Wi-Fi for my room. Uh, thankfully, I'm getting the LAN 6 or CAT 6 cable up here so I can start working on my server because it's pretty annoying. But now it's going to be connecting to my Wi-Fi network and updating itself. 
That is pretty neat. Okay. You don't need no laptop. You don't need no computer. When an update drops, you get a notification. Connect to Wi-Fi. Boom. Updates itself. That is a big thing with these. You don't need to constantly keep updating it. Like with Bruce or Flipper. Or there's new versions coming out. And you have to get on the web flasher. But let's select this update and then go through all the menu options. Now, we've got all the annoying stuff in here, of course. Like BLE spamming. No one do this anymore, I swear. It's so annoying, okay? It's not even... It used to be funny, okay? I used to be LA spam. I'm like, oh, I'm so cool. It's not cool. Okay. So our first option is going to be BLE, which is going to be all of our BLE spamming. And then we have Wi-Fi. Now, we could Captive Portal, Spam APs, Dioth, Checker. I've never heard of Checker. Dioth, Checker. Hmm. Fake Google page, Evil AP. Exit. So Captive Portal, you take over a Wi-Fi network... We have spam APs, spam Wi-Fi networks all over the thing. You have all your fake networks. Then we have DAUTH, turn Wi-Fi networks off. And let's test some of this stuff out. I want to test the evil AP. So let's check this out. Because I want to see what the Google page is actually like on this. Because I've seen some pretty cool videos about how you could customize it with the BLA Shark Nano. Oh my gosh. I'm not showing my Wi-Fi network right now. But free Wi-Fi. I don't think anyone. It's too bright anyway. And once we join the free Wi-Fi... It's going to say Google Login, and then you'll put your email, blah, 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 I'm not a dummy. And you put your password. And this one is more legit than the one that says, you've you've just fallen for a phishing simulation. Don't worry, this was only a test to show easily. Savviest users can be tricked into realistic login pages. Your credentials were not saved or stored anywhere. What? I wanted them saved. I'll figure that out later. Anyway, it does work. It pops up pretty quick. So we got some more stuff in here, Wi-Fi, email. Mm, so, you know, I am seeing actual, I see email, I see password, but it won't let me actually see it. What the heck is this? This is supposed to be malicious. What else would I buy this for? Uh, I'll figure that out later. I'm sure there's a way to turn that off. It's just in settings. Now, the settings in here are super easy to do. You could do it all through your phone. But then we have infrared. Now we have TV be gone. Turn off all TVs. We have remote. And then we have learn. So it could receive and learn. That's something a lot of these devices don't have. They just have the sender. But this one you could actually learn. Transmit. You could send your own ones. Turn off TVs. We could try this out real quick. I'll have future Ilya do that. Thanks, man. Oh, shoot. Mm. Then we have bad BT. I'm over here just trying to make some dinner, edit my video for tonight. And then I realized I said it wrong. Yes, bad BT is bad Bluetooth. You do not have to plug it in. You connect to the device over Bluetooth. I tested this out. And that's how you send scripts. A lot smarter than having to actually plug something in. But I also did add an antenna on here. Which we dive a little bit into later. But that's it for right now. I do not want to see one comment about it. Now, this is where you plug it into somebody's laptop. And hack them. So you have custom if you have custom scripts. General, prank, Android, dangerous, crash, overload, KB spam, flood logs, disable KB, ooh, I like the sound of all that, Android, closed apps, screenshot, and this thing is so tiny, I got it, because I've seen it in Ghost Rats Houghton's, and it looks bigger, which is weird, because you think he has big hands, so it would look smaller, I'll stop talking about your hands, Ghost Rats. <laughs> anyway, then we have some games like Flappy Bird. Now, I am a goat at this. Never died. And it has a lot of these games, actually. And they're pretty fun. Flappy Bird, Invaders, Pong. Ooh, Pong. Anyway, I'm here to work, guys. And then you have Breakout, Trex, all the good stuff. Now we have apps. The apps are pretty cool. We have Keypad, where you could connect to the BLE Shark Nano itself. But we also have some other stuff in here, which I actually really like. Text Viewer, which is super interesting. You can upload text on here, like a digital book, and just read it. So look, you just scroll with that. I think that's super cool. I've never seen a function like that. That's the most basic thing ever. But scroller, if you're too lazy to scroll your own TikTok videos... Monitor your PC, a simple timer, stopwatch, and exit. And that's, and then settings, customize your nano. 
you can update it in here info view battery all the good stuff brightness definitely need that at 100 it's already too low and we're back to bluetooth so that is all the features on here so far i already know there's so much stuff with this esp32 and this is i'm, I'm feel, yeah this is seed studio i knew it with the micro esp32s but that is it for this video i absolutely love this and i can't wait to make more content Ooh, look at that one it's in idle mode it's got the 3d box boop tell me which one you like more obviously looks cooler with the case this one just looks smaller without the case i don't know i think i like the blue one more but you know what's next for this the wi-fi range on here is ah so we gotta add an antenna in the next video with the BLR Shrek Nano. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you liked it, go join the Discord down below. I'm trying to get to 100 people. Then we can start doing some fun stuff there. Like doing a whole meeting together. You guys could get to meet me. I'll get to meet you. We could all talk. And maybe start doing some challenges weekly. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll leave the link down below if you want to buy this for yourself. This was a pre-order. But you're able to go buy yours now. Thank you so much. BLR Shrek Nano. Infra Shark Tech. Have a good one.